Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you 5 ways to fix iPhone stuck on Apple logo. If your iPhone is stuck in boot loop, then you don't have to worry. In this video, I am going to show you 5 different ways to fix it with and without erasing your iPhone data. So make sure to watch the video till the very end and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your iPhone problem. And also, if you found this video helpful by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see here, I have an iPhone 6 Plus which is currently stuck in boot loop. The problem with this phone is, this phone turns on, shows the Apple logo and turns back off. So our first method is charge your phone for at least one hour. Maybe your iPhone's battery is completely dead and it's not powerful enough to boot your phone. Maybe charging for one hour will help you fix the problem. I've already tried this method by myself. I charged my phone for more than two hours but it didn't work for me. Maybe it might work for you. So try this method by yourself. If it works great, if it doesn't, then you don't have to worry. Just keep watching the video and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix the problem. Our second method is force restarting your iPhone to fix the problem. If your iPhone is from iPhone SE, iPhone 6 or 6s family, the key combination of force restarting is pressing and holding the home button and power button. Just keep press and holding these two buttons, your device will turn off. Whenever you see the Apple logo, just release both buttons. The method of force restarting is different for some iPhone models. For example, if your iPhone is iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, then you have to press and hold volume down button and power button. Just keep press and holding these two buttons in order to force restart your phone. And for iPhone 8 or above models, the key combination of force restarting is press volume up, volume down and then keep press and holding the power button. Again, same story, your device will turn off and whenever you see the Apple logo, just release the power button. That's how you can force restart different models of iPhones. And now let me show you the third method. Our third method is using a software to fix an iPhone that is stuck on the Apple logo. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer with active internet connection. After that, you need a software by the name of Dr. Phone System Repair iOS. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. So just go ahead download and install the software from the link given below. After installing it, just open it up. This software is all-in-one solution for every smartphone users. With this tool, you can do a lot of things like you can recover any kind of deleted files from your iPhone and Android devices. You can transfer data between your phone and your computer. You can also transfer WhatsApp messages from one phone to another and do more things. Alright, in order to fix your iPhone's problem, you have to click on system repair option. This software gives you two options to fix your iPhone's problem. The first option is standard mode. If you fix your iPhone's problem using the first option, then it will not erase your iPhone data. And the second option is advanced mode. If you try to fix your iPhone's problem using advanced mode, it will erase everything from your iPhone. So obviously I do not want to erase my iPhone data, so I am going to go with the first option. The next thing you have to do is to get your iPhone into recovery mode or DFU mode. This software gives instructions for every iPhone model. So for example, your iPhone is iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, you have to follow these instructions to put your iPhone into recovery mode. So in my case, my iPhone is iPhone 6 Plus, so I am going to follow these instructions in order to put my iPhone into recovery mode. Alright, now I'm going to put my iPhone into recovery mode. Hopefully it will work. After connecting your phone to computer, just follow the instructions accordingly. So in my case, I have to press home button and power button. Alright, all you have to do is get your iPhone into this page. After putting your iPhone into recovery mode, the next thing you have to do is to download the latest version of iOS for your device. There are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software by clicking on this start button. And the second option is downloading the firmware through a web browser. If you want to download the firmware through browser, just click on this download button. It will open up the browser. And 
it will start downloading the firmware automatically so i'm going to cancel it because i already have downloaded the firmware so i'm going to select it after that all you have to do is click on fix now and then the repairing process will begin during this process do not disconnect your iphone just let the software do its job Once the repairing process is completed, you will see this message on your computer. If the software comes up with this message that says repairing of operating system is complete, that means the software has successfully fixed your problem. And now all you have to do is wait for your iPhone to restart. After that, your iPhone should be fixed. Alright, my iPhone just restarted. So let's see, do I have my files? Remember, the software was supposed to fix the problem without erasing the data. So let's see, do I have my photos? Yes, as you can see, I have all my photos there. And also, here are my music files. So yeah, that's how this method works. Now, let me show you the fourth method. Alright, before I show you the next method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this method. The software I used in this method is not free, you have to purchase it, but the question is, would you purchase the software to fix your iPhone's problem? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And now, let me show you the fourth method. Alright, our fourth method is restoring your iPhone with iTunes. Remember, resetting your iPhone with iTunes will erase everything from your device. If you want to fix your iPhone's problem without losing data, then watch the third method. And if you are okay with losing your data, then keep watching the video. Alright, in order to reset your iPhone with iTunes, first of all, connect your iPhone to computer using your USB cable. Next, put your iPhone into recovery mode. After putting your iPhone into recovery mode, now open iTunes on your computer. Next, select restore and then Click on restore and update. After that, iTunes will start downloading the firmware for your device. So I am going to cancel it because I don't have fast internet to wait for it. Instead, I am going to restore my iPhone with the firmware that I already have. In order to do that, press and hold shift on your computer and then click on restore iPhone. It will allow you to restore your iPhone with the firmware. Now wait for your iTunes to flash your iPhone. After restoring your iPhone with iTunes, now all you have to do is set up your iPhone as if it's brand new. Now I am going to do it right now because it will take a lot of time. I assume you already know this process. I will do it off camera. Our fifth and last method is contacting Apple. If you tried all the methods shown in the video and none of them work for you, then your iPhone might have a hardware issue and you have two options to fix it. Number one, contacting Apple. Number two, taking your iPhone to a repairing shop. I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop because most repairing shops do is they replace original parts of your iPhone with the fake ones and obviously you don't want that, right? So that's why I recommend you to contact Apple before going to a repairing shop and there is an easy way to contact Apple just go to Google and type Apple live chat and you can chat with them and get your problem solved instantly so there you have it guys that is how you can fix an iPhone that is stuck on Apple logo please let me know which one of these methods work for you and also if you find this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends and if you want more videos like this in the future then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and I will catch you on the next one Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.